Hi, welcome to Planet Mosh, and we're joined in the luxurious pub over the road from the venue with Johan from Draconian. Um, and we finally get to say welcome to the UK, which sounds very good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we've been uh, longing to play here for uh, quite a time, and it feels great to be here. So, um, what, um, what finally made it sort of feel right for the band to come over this time, as opposed to, you know, say, Bernie uh, you know, Halo era or anything? Yeah. You know, we've been getting some requests for some years now, and uh, we're supposed to play here in April at the Uma Bolano Festival, and things didn't work out with some stuff, and yeah, we have to postpone it to now. And now we're here, huh? <laughs> That's good. So you've had uh, you've had chance to obviously sound check in the venue earlier on. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the venue like from from your point of view? Happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. It's um, quite uh, in Sweden. We for our kind of music in Sweden, yeah. the the places are not looking like this one. You know, <laughs> this is more like uh, out to say on the smaller like uh, car club scene in Sweden yeah. where they play the rockabilly and stuff like that. That's the type of venue we have. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, it feels great to have like a small audience to play with. Yeah. So it feels sort of tight yeah. and you can That's feed off it and all, and all that. You know? The best gigs. Yeah. And we've got uh, two great support bands tonight as, as yeah, well, which yeah. uh, I've, I must admit I've not seen either of them live before, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, now, you. you you played a, uh, an outdoor festival, didn't you, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was now. Yeah. And, yeah. How, how did that go? Yeah, we played a made of metal in the Czech Republic. Yeah. And, uh, it was a hot gig, it was 38 degrees Celsius, so it's a good one. And it's been a while for us, we haven't played for like four months before that, so it felt great to get on stage and uh, yeah, and it was a good turnout as well. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounded like a really good festival. Yeah. It, and, uh, the new album Sovran comes out end of October. Yeah. Um, okay. It's been I was looking it's sort of four years since Apocalypse came out. Yeah. Um, and obviously we're hiking on vocals now. Did you approach it differently, writing-wise, with her in mind, or, or was yeah, it? Yeah, quite a bit. Yes. Um, Heike has a more uh, emotional voice and a deeper voice, and um, she's not so very like uh, Lisa's voice, uh, it's a higher range and stuff like that. We try to arrange stuff from the beginning, like the old style, you know, but we felt like it would be more honest to do it her way, in a way, to make her feel comfortable. And it was also one of the things that inspired me as a songwriter to write something different this time. Now, one thing, because I've heard the snippets on YouTube, the teaser that you've yeah, done yeah. for the album, so I, I don't yet know the, the lengths of the songs, time-wise, but I'm assuming that there's some quite long ones in there. Yeah. Um, when, when you're starting to compose a song, do you have in your head, well, this is going to be eight minutes or ten minutes long, oh, or, or does it just sort of flow? And usually not. Uh, when I come to half the song or something, I feel like, oh, this is going to be. It. Then I see it. it's going to be eight minutes or twelve minutes, or because you feel like half into the song that what it needs to like finish. So then you can like, yeah, it's going to end up like six minutes. Or, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Also, uh, it depends on the tempo of the song and stuff like that. Sure, sure. So overall, with uh, with the new album, is it is it? I know you had to change things, obviously, with with high keys, as, as you just said. But is it is it still that classic draconian sound? Yeah, it's more classic than the previous one, Apocalypse. Yeah. It's more like the old stuff, but different. Yeah, you know, yeah. more. Back in the days when we wrote those songs, uh, we didn't have structure like we have today. And like my songwriting is more structured today. And it's good or bad, it's <laughs> up to the listener to decide, but you write in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. And do, you, do you sometimes look back at the old songs, I don't know, say from something of Burning Halo, for example, and think, 
well, today I perhaps would have done that a little bit differently. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That, especially with that album. Uh, yeah. turn not, didn't turn out as we wanted to. Not uh, Most sound-wise. It sounds like, yeah, we're not happy with that sound yeah. on that album. But. Oh, it's still, still one of my favourite yeah. albums, you know, it's still, it's still very good. It's still very good. Um, so I know uh, Napalm are bringing out uh, limited edition vinyl yeah. of the new one. Fin that, finally, yeah. we tried to do that for the last album as well, but you know the oh, the demand is not there, and you have to check with nuclear blast and the big to have the pre-orders up. You know, sure. yeah. Sure. So this time we we pre-orders a lot of albums ourselves. So. Yeah. Uh, vinyl in general has seen a sort of surge recently, hasn't yeah. it? You know, which is great, I think, because you can see it's always lovely to have that artwork in your hands, you know, and see. So I noticed, who, who did the artwork for, for Sovran then, because that's uh, quite... It's a Romanian guy from Kostin Chirnal, I don't know how the pronunciation is, but <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, worked with a lot of bands like At The Gates and Primordial, I think, and it's a very well-known guy in like uh, the underground. He's a very hard-working guy and uh, he can do like uh, four covers in two weeks or something. It's an amazing guy. It works very fast. And what, um, as, as regards the, the song title, uh, where does that song run, where does that word come from? Yeah, it's, it's actually the old meaning of sovereign. It's the same word. Same word. Yeah. Yeah. And does that, does that theme flow through the album or is it just that particular...? Yeah, we found it to be very fitting in some way. We would like to come back, you know, big and it's more, it's more the theme on the album, it's more universal. Like, it's not just uh, focused on Earth, it's like the whole space and universe, you know, in some sort. So after, after London now then, You've got a couple, there's still a couple more shows to do, isn't there? I think you're over in Russia. Yeah. Is that the first time you, you've played in Russia as well? Oh, no, uh, we've been there twice. Been there twice. Yeah. Uh, both times to play, we played in Moscow, this time we had in St. Petersburg as well. Yeah. Should be great, it's always. Find the Russian guys amusing. <laughs> <laughs> And then, oh, well, obviously we'll be looking, will you we'll be planning more live shows for next year? Yeah, we're planning uh, right now. Uh, our drummer is having a baby this December and planning around that and stuff like that. So, it's, and, uh, it's in the works. Maybe, maybe get you back to the UK again, maybe? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be great. Well, that, that's fantastic. And, um, I can't wait for tonight's show. I mean, I've, I've seen I've seen you live before, and uh, I make no bones about it. Draconian are one of my all-time favourite bands, and to finally have you in the UK is just it's just wow! It's just, it's just amazing, you know. Um, and I've had a sneak preview of the set list, so I know what we can expect. Yeah. And I, I, I just just can't wait. So uh, enjoy the show, and um, we look look forward to seeing you back in the UK soon. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>